guys! I just cleaned out this part of the cage so the yellow and the purple fleece liner are fresh in the cage. There's Frida saying hi and I'm waiting to put these fleece liners in the washing machine so that you guys... Oh, Nugget is popcorning! Nugget is so happy! So that you guys don't hear the washing machine in the background constantly. Nugget! The guinea pigs love the fresh fleece liners so much. They're so happy with them. I'm so happy that we switched to fleece because the guinea pigs are popcorning so much and I think especially Gatsby because she's just plopping down anywhere. Especially Gatsby loves it so much. Gatsby! <laughs> Gatsby's such a little cutie. And unfortunately, my upstairs neighbor's baby just started crying, which spooked a couple of the guinea pigs. Gatsby, it didn't spook Gatsby as you could clearly see. By the way, whoever commented to put this grass bed upside down had a really good idea because I did that and it really makes it last longer because otherwise the guinea pigs just do their business in there and then it gets smelly really really fast and then you have to throw it out because it just really smells awful and this way it doesn't smell that awful and Gatsby can chew in it a little bit longer and also what I found out um, in last week's vlog I showed you Nugget sitting in there but even Minnie fits in that thing and I saw Sylvester sitting in it as well um, which is quite an accomplishment if you consider this tiny entrance but Sylvester was in there as well and I'm well I'm suspecting they use their nose to kind of throw the thing up in the air and then like while it is up a bit they go in and then the same happens when they leave it because they definitely don't fit through that small gap um, but the thing is very light so I assume that's the way they all go in I haven't seen how Sylvester and Minnie actually went in I just saw them in it um, but I think that's how they do it. But yeah, interestingly, all of them fit in there. Right, Gatsby? That's really interesting. Gatsby's like, no, that's not really that interesting. <laughs> Who's up, Gatsby? <laughs> and if you're wondering, why this vlog is so Gatsby centered right now? It's because the other guinea pigs are eating hay. And Gatsby was the only one interacting with me a bit. And now she's eating hay too. Sylvester! And Minnie is sitting in the house on the other side of the cage. Sylvester! No, Sylvester is off. <laughs> and Nugget is sitting in the hay rack. Hi, Nugget! Sometimes she sleeps in there. So she really plops down and then just sleeps. It's apparently really comfortable up there. I saw Gatsby in the hay rack as well. Um, but Gatsby looks way more squished in that hay rag than Nugget does. <laughs> Nugget! How's life up there? Sylvester found the hay bed. Or hay house. I guess we could call it a hay house now.
And also now we see how many uses the grass bed. So we went to the vets eight days ago and um, we kind of already suspected that Frida had ovarian cysts because um, her belly is kind of big and the rest of her just got skinnier. So her belly is big but then her back is really skinny. Um, and then also she started at the same time that we noticed that we also saw that her fur is missing in places. and. It's like only the lower part of her fur, lower in the sense of kind of, it's like just part of her fur is missing, not really always just in one place, but just, it's just gotten way thinner and it, and in places it thinned out so much that a lot of fur is actually missing. So we kind of suspected that, um, we went to the vet and Frida is getting a shot. Um, with a hormone and we're hoping that that's going to take care of it. So she got a shot um, like a week ago or nine days ago and she's getting another shot today. So we're going to the vets today again. This is the second one and usually it gets better after the second one and then sometimes they need a third one but um, yeah we're getting the second one today and I'm really hoping it's going to take care of it because Frida is losing weight um, and that's because the hormones are just messed up basically and they lose weight because of that so they're just a bit hyperactive um, and they lose weight so I hope that this is going to take care of it um, but that's what we're going to do today as well we're going to the vets that's just an update on Frida's health just in case you're wondering because I saw a lot of comments and I posted it on Instagram but I don't think I've mentioned it on YouTube if I have and I'm just repeating myself then I'm sorry um, but yeah, you can follow me on Instagram and see my um, Instagram stories for just day-to-day -day things. So usually um, when we get a diagnosis or anything, I immediately post it to Instagram. So that's um, just in case you're wondering why Frida um, has gotten thinner or why her fur is a bit out of place. It's not a fungal infection, it's um, hormonal issues. Um, but I'm really hoping it takes care of it so that Frida gains weight again. That would be really great. By the way, Gatsby still sleeping in the grass bed. Did I wake you up? I'm sorry, Greg Gatsby. It's now a little bit later and I just filmed a video with the guinea pigs where they got to eat basil and parsley. As you can see, they tipped over the herbs and they basically finished all of that in just a couple of minutes. Nugget is in the grass bed right now. <laughs> Nugget is popcorning. Nugget had a lot of fun eating the herbs. And probably put them on the balcony now because there's hardly any left. We also got back from the vets and Frida got her second shot. Hopefully it's going to work and Frida will be better in a couple of weeks. Hmm, Frida. Frida did really well at the vets. Um, Frida is always really relaxed and doesn't make a great fuss, doesn't, doesn't squeak when she gets a shot. She's really a model patient. He gets me is trying to get 
the last few pieces of parsley. Well, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time. Bye!